What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregos TV Daily or Source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. If you're a filmmaker, have it be, you know, a amateur or someone that's starting out or maybe you just want to capture a quick clip with your phone, you probably know that the audio when you record with your phone is not that good. Well, it looks like the Pixel phone is going to fix that. Pixel 1, 2, and 3 will be getting this update in the default camera app. They're going to be able to support external microphones. And here's the message. Hi folks, Isaac here from the Pixel Camera Engineering team. I have been keeping an eye on this thread since the beginning and have good news. Now this thread started in 2016 about adding external microphone support to Pixel phones. So that's what he's in reference to. At the same time as Pixel 3 launch, which is October 18th, we will introduce support for Android compatible plugged in external microphones in the default camera app for all pixels. I hope you all enjoy the update. What a great update. There's always times that I will, you know, capture footage with my phone and I generally will just attach this microphone, record the audio through my regular camera, maybe capture the video with my cell phone camera because it doesn't connect, it just doesn't work really. So this is a fantastic update. I'm really excited for this. This is going to turn the Pixel phone into a potential uh, video camera that almost anybody could use to make films with because generally cell phones make really, really good videos uh, with whatever video you're trying to do, have it be like a little film or a tech video or whatever it may be, it still captures or cell phones capture really, really good video. So I love this update. And the last story of the day is if you have a Pixel 2 phone, you might think about wanting to upgrade to the Pixel 3. You might want some of those Pixel 3 features. Well, it looks like some of those Pixel 3 features will trickle down to the Pixel 2. So let's find out which of those features are coming. First up, we have adjustable portrait blur, which is going to allow you to take those bokeh photos, meaning you take a photo of somebody and then you can blur the background. Well, the adjustability is now here for the Pixel 3, and it's also gonna be here for the Pixel two phones as well, so that'll be a nice little update. Next up is Night Sight. Night Sight allows you to take a photo of something, you know, like that's maybe not so well lit, and then a Night Sight, it's gonna brighten everything up and make the picture come to life. This is a great update coming over. Uh, Gmail Smart Compose, which is gonna be, you know, you're in Gmail, you start to type something and maybe it gives you a word or a phrase to finish it off so you don't have to think about it. Playground, Playground is gonna be, you know, that mode where uh, you can insert, uh, augment, reality models into your photos. Uh, the other two last ones are call related. So Duplex uh, is supposed to be coming out, I believe in November and then it's city by city. So you might have to wait a little bit longer than November, but basically um, you can have Duplex, which is the Google Assistant, make phone calls for you, tell who to call. You can have it make a reservation uh, or do something like that. Uh, it's very similar to call screen, but call screens when someone calls you, it'll screen out if the person is a telemarketer or a real friend, you'll see that message directly on your phone. So there you guys go. If you have a Pixel 1 or Pixel 2, life isn't over. You're still gonna get some cool new features and you could probably hold off on that Pixel 3 if you those are some of the reasons you were wanting that phone. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question now to you guys is, are you at all interested in me potentially getting and you know making some videos on the Razer phone too. If you don't know what that phone is, um, it's basically the phone put out by Razer who puts out computer accessories and computers and they have their own like gaming smartphone with a Snapdragon 845, 120 hertz display, 5.7 inch flat screen. Um, so it's, you know, nice and thick and big and uh, it's 2K display, big time speakers. It's just a really specced out phone, eight gigabytes of RAM. Let me know if you're interested in it and maybe I'll potentially try to acquire it and uh, make some videos if you guys are interested. Thanks for watching and I'll see you down the road. Peace.